Welcome to my first video. This Canoptech course was gifted to me, and let's see how we can do it. So, this video serves multiple purposes. Uh, first, um, to track my progress on, uh, on the Canoptech court and how I can paint better and uh, also to talk about why I came back to miniature painting and Warhammer 40k. The color team I'm going for is uh, Nihilak Dynasty and um, I'm trying a very uh, not so grim dark team so you will see uh, not in this video, but uh, in the, the next ones, in the edge highlighting process, you'll see it's very messy and, uh, well, on purpose, very messy and uh, um, quite dirty. I'm not using any NMLs or anything, so it's uh, done by hand. So this is the method I'm going for right now. I'm gonna see if it leads to something. This is also why I record these videos um, to share, of course, my passion, but also to, um, to get feedback and have a discussion around um, different methods for painting. You can see I'm using now uh, Tarnished Steel from Vallejo for the base metal coat. I'm not a teacher or a Golden Diamond winner or anything like that. I'm just trying to learn, so I won't go into details into the painting process. By that I mean uh, what color I'm using, what brush or what accessory. I don't really care. Um, I went for a theme and I used colors that I like. Uh, of course, I'm painting Necrons here, so uh, it's quite easy uh, to, uh, to, to pick uh, colors. But um, in the future too, I have other projects, armies and uh, training projects. I'm just doing this for fun, to see where it leads and um, just to share with you. And I just fucking love it. So what's my experience with the miniature painting, Warhammer 40 game, or anything? Well, um, I must not be the only one. Um, you can hear by my voice, uh, I'm in my 30s. Um, I got hooked when I was a kid, going into the Games Workshop store, and, uh, well, you, you must have the same experience, um, and uh, seeing the miniatures there, uh, the details, the scenery, uh, and uh, of course uh, the, the sailor propaganda. <laughs> but um, yes, uh, it was always there all my life. I've unfortunately never really gotten into uh, serious painting and serious army building. The last game I played was uh, 15 years ago. 15 years ago. So yes, I got back into it um, in my mid-20s. Uh, tried some Age of Sigma stuff when it came out and um, but uh, life happened, I guess. So here we are, first army in 15 years, and um, recording my progress and trying to be better at painting.
I'm initially a photographer and um, this is a way to experiment with um, video recording and uh, trying new stuff. And of course, as you can hear, maybe, uh, practicing speaking English. I don't have an exact idea of what um, this channel could be. Um, I'm just trying stuff out. Um, maybe I'll do streaming later. Well, my s workspace now doesn't really allow the multiple uh, recording setups, so maybe later. But uh, I'd love to have a uh, live painting sessions um, to just hang out, discuss uh, what my stuff or mini painting in general. I don't know. You tell me. Maybe you get really bored quickly, and uh, nobody will watch. I, I don't care. I just want to create a space where I can share and uh, maybe inspire people to to go and do their part of shame mm -hmm. and, and just yes just uh, enjoy the hobby So I came back to Warhammer 40k and uh, uh, mini painting uh, quite recently. I've painted uh, what uh, 13 warriors, uh, one chronomancer, and one tombstalker, and some scarabs. So I've got a basic workflow on how I want to paint uh, this army. This first video is about my general progression on the Canoptech court, um, but I will also do, as, on this one for example, on the Lord, um, a special video for the blade, also for the Plasmancer, and uh, one also for the bases, uh, you saw in the beginning of the video. Um, I went for a um, Martian team for, uh, for the bases, very dusty. I'm not using any real reference, so in order to have my team present in the on the models for the for example here um, what is it um, uh, I don't remember yes um, the Ariman blue uh, I want it to be present kind of like a a contrast a highlight for uh, for the rest of the very rusty and metallic parts uh, I want it to be there but not too much. Uh, so yes, on this reanimator, I have some of Ariman Blue on the legs, and also uh, here on the uh, kind of hieroglyph section, but not anywhere else. The rest will be uh, the rest of the highlights will be green for the cables, for the the optics, and. Um, what do you call them? Uh, 
the balls. <laughs> you get the idea. I want um, the glow effects to pop on the table. Also, this clip you can see now. Um, I fucked up. I remembered mid recording that uh, I didn't want to do the cables this way. I learned that um, generally you always want to go from dark to light. So I started again. Um, and this time trying for the first time um, a contrast colors from Citadel. This is the first reanimator I have ever painted. And, and oh boy, how many cables, uh, cables or um, tubes, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, so many and many, many underneath. Um, his uh, his upper body and many of them are really hard to to reach I even made <laughs> a short on, uh, on this subject because uh, the first time I tried to um, to reach the, the very hidden uh, uh, tube uh, I, I had a shaky hand and I couldn't uh, couldn't do anything. So I repeat the process on the crypto throws, on the plasma sensor, and on the, on the scorpic log. This one is a beast. I can already see uh, how much it's going to be to paint the gun with the glow effect and uh, the blade too. As I said, um, I'll do a dedicated video on this, uh, a sort of um, trial and error and uh, how I can improve. So if you have any tips before I start, doing the glow effects or the blade, uh, just tell me. So, thank you for watching. I don't know if it's gonna be uh, this type of video every time. But you can already see what I'm going for. Um, just hanging around, chill, and painting. That's it. <laughs>